Okay, so Google Meet is the new hangout place this 2020. You see what I did there? But Meet is in the same as Zoom or Skype and there are a lot of settings or extensions that you can use to get more features like automatic attendance, noise cancellation, real-time face filters, etc. And there are some problems like breakout rooms, poll that we face in our daily TechWiser meetings on Google Meet. So a few extensions to fix those as well. With that said, here are Google Meet tips and tricks to have a better video conferencing experience. Google Meet has yet to roll out the noise cancellation version to every Google account. So meanwhile, you can use the crisp noise cancellation app. It works on both Windows, Mac, and even on the Chrome browser. Here, have a look at the voice sample side by side. Okay, so this is an audio sample in ambient indoor surroundings with my fan on at supersonic speed and the noise cancellation off. Now, let me turn on the noise cancellation and you can hopefully feel the difference. So again, this is an audio sample under indoor ambient surrounding with my fan still at supersonic speed. But this time, the noise cancellation is on. Let me know in the comments below if you can feel the difference. Crisp is a paid app, but you can use it for free. It allows 120 minutes of meeting per week, which is enough, at least in my usage. I use it only when I have to speak. Okay, this one is so fun. If you're looking for filters that you can add on Google Meet, the Snap Camera app is the way to go. It provides an option to add Snapchat filters on Google Meet, like you don't even have to make an effort to make things funny. To make it work, all you have to do is install Snap Camera app, change your source camera as Snap Camera in Meet and done. There are so many filters and like even if you use one filter a day, you would easily get past this lockdown era or video call era before you run out of filters. Oh, this is a handy one and I think not many people know it. In case you have to quickly start a new meeting, just type meet.new on the URL and there you go. If you have multiple accounts, you can just append it slash zero slash one to switch accounts. This works with all the Google apps like docs.new, sheets.new, slides.new, etc. Moreover, you can make a bookmark of meet.new link and every time you click on it, you have a new meeting. Meet attendance is another Chrome extension useful only for teachers. All you need to do is just add the extension to your browser and that's it. Whenever you start a meet, it will create a spreadsheet and note down all the names of the people who have attended the meeting. Moreover, it also notes down the time they have joined and the time they have left out. So you don't need to think about anything while running your class. You can access the spreadsheet anytime from the option in the people's tab. You can even toggle off the automation and create a spreadsheet on your own right from Google Meet if that's what you want. Okay, here's my favorite one. Zoom has a really nifty feature that lets you mute and mute your mic whenever you long press the space bar. So suppose I kept myself on mute and whenever I had to speak, long press the space bar and when I'm done, again, back on mute. So there's an extension called Google Meet Push to Talk which does the exact same thing, but on Google Meet. You have to mute yourself and whenever you want to speak, just hit the space bar. When you're done, release it and you're back muted again. It's just so useful. Just try it. Similar to push to talk, Google Meet also has some more basic features missing like raise your hand to speak. I mean, if you have to speak, you have to message the host to unmute you. Again, there is an extension called not Chrome extension. It provides emoji based interaction. So apart from all the emojis, the most important one is raising the hand so that you can ask the host to unmute you. The only caveat is that both parties need to install the extension to make it work. We also use the happy and sad emoji to have a quick poll on some topic. As the name suggests, this extension is mostly useful for teachers and serves only one purpose. It blocks join request once enabled. 
So once the class has started, teachers don't need to waste time admitting everyone into the class. You can just click on the extension icon at the top corner of the browser and enable the toggle beside log Google Meet. And that's it. This extension will block out all the students who are attending the class late. Now, breakout rooms is a feature that is available only in G Suite Enterprise. For everyone else, you can use the Google breakout room extension. Now, what it does is, is just splits the existing meeting into multiple subgroups so that you can deal with everyone individually. Now, at TechWiser, we have two different teams, video team and the writing team. And this extension helps us to form two different groups. At a time, you can only talk with one team and discuss. Later, you can move on to the second team. Also, it's quite fun to play games on video calls. So you can use breakout rooms for that as well. You know, video calls are gonna stay for a while. Next up is the Google Meet Enhancement Suite. It provides a bunch of different features, but here's my favorite too. It puts you on auto join. So those precious five minutes I spend on the join screen every day, that's saved. Plus you hit shift K and you exit the meeting. It might seem small, but you try these two things every day and you'll realize how convenient it is. Additionally, you also get features like push to talk, automatic live captions, dark mode, etc, etc. Okay, so last one. This isn't a trick, but rather a feature. Hear me out. Meet recently released a background blur feature for desktop users. So I use it rarely when I have to rarely turn on my video camera. See, my room's a mess. It doesn't look good in morning calls. So background blur kind of compensates for that. With all these features and integration with Google Apps makes Google Meet one of the best video conferencing apps. I'm also interested to know what all video conferencing app you guys use at your college or your workplace. Let me know in the comments below. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you soon.